Oop. Some water here. Summer in Alice, or the uh, East Coast uh, name for Alice is uh, Etikini, here in the Eastern Cape of Southern Africa. Uh, okay, look. Let me say a few things. As you, some of you who, so there's very few people that actually uh, follow, you know, follow my my postings. Which is okay. Let me start all over. I started these postings a, a, a while ago uh, because uh, there was a librarian that I kept, we kept on talking. You know, he's a, he's close to man. I'm I'm, a, I'm a, a, you know African American. You know, African American mean, descendant of child slavery kind. Of, you know, black American. And so I would be sick talking back and forth, you know, politics and a bunch of other stuff. He said, are you writing some of this stuff down? And I said, no, you know. So what I ended up doing is starting to, um, and to talk to, he was there, and I would t actually talk to him, he'd be off camera. Uh, but they talked to him, I created a character, a whole man character. So, so, so that's how this whole thing started, me talking to the, to the camera. I've had my YouTube channel for a while. Uh, even before then, uh, but I did a lot of interviews. Um, you know, I'm really an archivist. I'm not really a, a talker like this. I'm an archivist. So, um, um, so this became a, 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 a thing. But when I, uh, but on my YouTube channel, I don't, uh, I don't monetize my channel. So I'm not asking for you know monetary support or anything like that. You know, lately for other reasons, I do have a, a Bitcoin you know wallet. So if you want to contribute Bitcoin, it's, it's fine. But that's sort of like an experiment for something else, totally, totally different. It has to do with my studies with my uh, postgraduate uh, student here at the University of Fort Hare. Anyway, um, and so. So that's how this whole thing started. And then when he retired, the, the man at the library retired, you know, Brother Billy, uh, what I did, I just took the whole thing to, to my office here, just, just to her Honduran flag back there. I, I explained that to some other things. Look, you can look it up if you want. And uh, I just started talking in my regular thing, but talking to the camera rather than anybody. So this is the commentary thing. Then, then uh, last year when the trailer hit for uh, Black Panther, and then I, I uh, at home, I would, uh, uh, the house I was at at the time, I would start talking about uh, Black Panther because for me it was a, a movement. I mean, and from the very beginning, I said, whoa, this is going to be different. This is like a movement from the very beginning. Now, you can look those things up. Uh, in fact, there's, uh, 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 well, let me go and say this. So I don't really look for a lot of um, numbers, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not monetized channel. In fact, all my stuff is on Creative Commons. You know, I don't do the standard YouTube thing, Creative Commons, so anybody can use it. I'm just giving you some credit if you wish. No, if you, you should. Um, so, 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 so that's how it goes. But I do interviews on this channel. Uh, I do uh, these commentaries. And, uh, we, and, um, and now I start this Wakanda series. Now I start to end the Wakanda series. I want to end it. and just wait for the DVD to come out. But, um, but it seems as though uh, well, some things happened. Let me just explain. Uh, uh, let me go back. For the Wakanda series, even with the uh, when I was with Brother Billy, I would always wear an African top or some an African top. This this is actually designed by my wife, you know, made by my wife, or, you know, everything like that. Uh, and she's it's, it's purely African, African fabric, and she's African, so da da, it's really African. It's before this whole Black Panther thing hit. Okay, so so those are the three. So that's what this channel has. Now, usually, I, because of my background, um, I, um, I come from, uh, I come from the, the, the era of, of, of black consciousness movement in the States, as well as uh, the, the black arts movement, as we have really come out of, you know, uh, trade and theater and blah, 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 and poetry and all the rest of that stuff. Um, uh, but somewhere in there, and it's very political before, very, very political at that particular point. In fact, most of the people that I was political with in the 60s, they either, when, when that sort of era ended in the early 70s, most of the folks uh, went to uh, law, you know, or they went to the arts. Very interesting dynamic. I was always in the arts, so that, that's, that's what that was. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, so this channel really is not to uh, get numbers or anything like that. Part of this experiment is at some particular point, these commentaries, there's a lot of commentaries that I would, you know, just do some sort of video or, you know, uh, audio to text and, and have some books or something like that. I don't know, something like that. Um, so that's what the channel really is about. Uh, but I usually comment a lot of political and social 
kind of issues. And I wanted Sister Wakanda, well, the Black Panther is, is still going, but you know, I was going to stop the Black Panther and, um, and do some uh, political stuff, political stuff like that. Like, um, it, it's, it's different now because of the internet. I can comment on things from the states, right? And since I'm in the arts too, sometimes I feel some arts state, state thing, but I don't really like to do that. I like, like political thing. But since the advent of Trump, I one of the things I said, look, you know, Trump is going to do what he's going to do, so there's no need for me to talk about Trump. What we all should be doing is really doing what we, what our core thing is, even as he does his core thing. His core thing is to basically loop the United States, you know, uh, basically get his get his cronies or his 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 uh, peoples, you know, the people from his uh, his realm, and, and to continue to loot the United States, you know, to the land, rip off the land, blah, 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 the, the, whole, the whole thing, okay? Uh, so, uh, so I was really into it. So, so it's weird that uh, the, the Wakanda thing should come across, to come around at the same, about the same time, uh, six months later, uh, that, that, you know, I didn't want to talk about politics anymore. But, um, but the politics, you know, so, so now the Wakanda, I'm back to politics. I do South African politics, uh, campus politics here. I feel this, and politics is very interesting. I'll give you a, a, a thing that just kind of course, I don't have my phone right now. Uh, but there was a couple of items that I saw in the paper, in the, in the, in the, uh, on the, on the app today, whatever, the, the, the news day today. Uh, one is that, you know, Robert Mugabe, ex-president of, uh, of uh, Zimbabwe, uh, you know, he has, uh, and he, he led the, uh, the political party, the main political party, all the time since 90, 1980, when he came in. And then his, his uh, right-hand man is now the president, right, who did all his, you know, his dastardly deeds, you know, with, you know, Ethnic cleansing, if you will, in that country. But now uh, it, they, they say something panic has hit uh, the political scene in Zimbabwe because Robert Mugabe has, has uh, there's a, a general that stepped down. And, and remember, the, the country, the, most of these folks are uh, uh, what they call uh, struggle people, so they're a lot of generals and military people. But he's become a part of the opposition party because Morgan Chandra, who was part of the opposition party, he died uh, recently, peace and blessings upon his soul. Uh, uh, so he, this the general is now going to be part of opposite party for for the uh, elections later on this year. So there was a picture taken of Ra a smiling Robert Mugabe with this guy. So like it's like it's I won't say it's hilarious, but it's, it's fun. Politics is fun. And so as that's happening here in in, in South Africa, as you know, uh, 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 Jacob Zuma, the president, he stepped down. Another guy, uh, just super capitalist, you know. Uh, Sir Robert Posa, he's you know, he's not a head of ANC and also not a president because the president stepped out. He was a deputy president, so now he's the he's the president. But uh, he's doing this whole cabinet reshuffle and all the rest of this stuff. But the guy that was in charge of the elections because elections are coming to this country in, a, in, a, in a, uh, next year. But this is election season now. When I say election season, things are people are jogging and all the rest of stuff. Well. What happened was the the guy uh, in the ANC, the minister, right, you know, in charge of that, they reshuffled him. He was, you know, so, so basically they reshuffled him. I, I guess he was a little, little upset with that. So he sends out a tweet. Okay, let me go back for just a second. Uh, the the, the uh, ANC is the biggest party, and the, the Democratic Alliance is the next party, and there's a whole other little minor minor parties. Uh, one of the parties, I said minor, but other parties, you know, UD, just minor parties. Uh, PAC, it's a budget party. One of the, the known parties is the EFF, the Economic Freedom Fighters, which is headed by this guy named Julius uh, uh, Malema, who was in the ANC Youth League and they kicked him out. So he started this party. So he's been, he's been throwing stones for the whole thing. And he's been forcing them. Actually, he stopped the party from the, the country from going to, to the right by just, you know, being the, the voice of the party. It's, it's like uh, what they call um, uh, celebrity, not celebrity, whatever, politics, you know. So anyway, uh, so the EFF is always a, uh, a jabbing at the, at the major party, at the, mainly the, the ANC. So what happens is this guy, this minister who was part of the ANC, and he got reshuffled. I guess he got upset. So uh, just before he, then, then he, 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 well, right before he quit the party, right, well, oh, he, he lost his ministerialship. He's not a minister anymore. Ministers like your, your congressmen, your senators, and like that, I'm talking to people in the states, I suppose. Anyway, so he sends out a tweet. Uh, to, because today and tomorrow, this is a Saturday and tomorrow, uh, people should register to vote if they haven't. So if you change the address, like my wife changed the address, so she has to go uh, and, 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 and go to the polling, go to the, these things and change, make sure she's in the right address so she can vote next year. Okay, so he sends out this tweet, you know, make sure you, you, you vote, you're, you're, uh, 
it's a registered vote. Huh? But the start of the tree says, uh, he says like vote for basically said vote for the EFF, right? Which is his ANC said vote for EFF. So this sent the two other people. It was hilarious, and, and the Jewish Malay had the party. He goes like, you know, he says, yeah, vote for EFF. <laughs> Sorry. So it's like fun and games. So the, so the guy says, oh, it was it was a typographical mistake. Come on now. If you think about it, if you're doing anything, A is over here, the E is over here, N is where it is, C is where it is. So EFF is, you know, you can't make that kind of mistake. So he says, oh, it's a... Anyway, so that's the kind of stuff that's happening. That's what I would, would be talking about. But something happened uh, last Thursday morning. There's uh, my, my association uh, in the States. Well, uh, I, I actually have a title. I'm the Arts Director Emeritus of WBAI Radio, which is a Pacific radio station in the United States. And it's like the biggest, uh, the, the, was the biggest, I guess, maybe it still is, the biggest uh, non-commercial, uh, purely listener-sponsored radio station in the United States. A huge station out of New York. So I was there uh, for a long time. Anyway, so a lot of people know, some people know me, the old heads know me, new people, what do they know? Young people, what do they know? So Jim Ford, who does this thing called Hour of the Wolf, he uh, invited me because of the whole Wakanda series I've been doing. He invited me uh, to be on the program, you know, via, you know, via Skype, uh, you know, and so I got to set Skype up. And the wonderful thing is, uh, uh, used to be like uh, Google uh, Hangouts was a good thing, you know, thing. but Skype somehow upgraded things, so the line was like really beautiful. So I'm on the air on Thursday morning, uh, you know, uh, with uh, with uh, Jim, who's the uh, host of Hour of the Wolf, and this other guy. Uh, 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 Tavis Taylor, who uh, who 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 does a uh, uh, what do you call that uh, comic books, but well, books on on vampires, you know, just like that. So he knows a lot about, about comics and, and like that. We all see we also a Black Panther, so we want to talk about that. What's the subject? Okay. So we started with it started. It's a two-hour program, but for the whole first hour, we just talk. I don't say politics, but we just talking back and forth. It was really kind of interesting. I'll put the link for the uh, for the podcast or the, the download uh, somewhere in the thing for this thing. It was fascinating, but the second time we got into Black Panther. But one of the things I said, uh, and, and uh, well, one of the things I said was that, because uh, everybody's enamored with Killmonger, and I and I said, no, man, you know, if he's truly, oh, well, I call him an African-American because he's half African, his father's African, his, his mother's line is, is American. Uh, but he's he's uh, descended from a child. Uh, I, I call myself a Black American or a descendant of, of child slavery. Uh, that's the true of American. All these other people that come in to claim they're Black or whatever it is, you know, from the Caribbean, or whatever it is. Like there's this woman, Kamala Harris, is, you know, she's trying to claim Black. She went to a Black school. She tried to Black for sorority, whatever have you. But you know, her parents, her, her father was Jamaican, her mother is is Indian. She's got you know ties in India, whatever have you. So she's not Black, okay? Not from not from chattel slavery. Not we not not a descendant of chattel slavery like we know. And remember the Caribbean slavery and what this sort of different. Anyway, my point really is. Is, is that, so I said, a true uh, African American or descendant of Charles, they wouldn't commit suicide. They just wouldn't, and to me, the end of Black Panther, he's, he's committing suicide because his, his, his cousin could have saved him. Okay, but he chose to uh, uh, to die in, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, like like his like his I guess it's on his mother's side, you know, his uh, you know his ancestors on his mother's side, and I'm going like, no, technically for me, right, technically. The, you, you, you're captive in Africa, and then you, you, you the, the passage, you, yeah, you sort of in slavery, but this real slavery doesn't exist, doesn't begin, at least for North Americans, I mean, until you were either, you know, Jamaica or Cuba, where it was, uh, and it's so old in New York, as, as Jim pointed out, and you sold the slavery, that child slavery. So I'm going like, that, that wouldn't happen, but it was interesting because Terrence, who's younger, I guess maybe 15 years younger than I am, or whatever it is, he says, well, I, I know a lot of people commit suicide. Now. And I was thinking, in my generation, it's like, you know, we had a lot of struggle and, and you know, people would be lynched and whatever have you. So we not, you know, I don't know. It sort of took me aback. And I started really thinking about that. And uh, so we, it was a good program. I, I think it was a good program. And you can judge for yourself the first few minutes, 10, whatever, it's kind of shaky, you know, because of technical difficulties. But if you stick with it to the second hour or whatever it is, it's a quite a fascinating discussion. Okay, so I, I sort of got to thinking about, about that, you know, and uh, one of the things that I was uh, thinking 
about his altar. Then I went on the internet, and because uh, I've been because of this because of Black Panther, there's a few sites, or you know, I like to see what people think about Black Panther, and and and, and there, of course, the analysis of it. Now, one of the things, uh, but I also didn't agree with Eric Killmonger, was I had to burn this stuff down, whatever. But I totally maybe missed it, but somebody brought up, yeah, well, what kind of revolutionary he is? He he's got Wakanda or whatever happy. He's going to burn the plants. Okay, we we'll leave that alone. But he was going to kill the technical person. You know, his basic. You see, his cousin, he's going to kill his, the, 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 you know, Shuri character is the technical person with Wakanda. That's what advances the stuff. He was going to kill her. So that boy totally out of his mind, you know. So I don't understand why black Americans are identifying with, with that, the psychotic, you know, this anger. No, a lot of us, the people, at least I struggle, we were not psychotic. We were very purposeful. In fact, there are people, if we want to do anything, as far as Black Panther or talk about this, we need to get some real Black Panther, some real struggle people out of jail it, it, that are basically political prisoners. That's what you should, you should be doing. This, uh, that, this is what I, I appreciate about Black Panther is that a lot of discussion is happening about a lot of things. Uh, there's also voting, there's, there's, there's some voting things happening, people register to vote, and all this. So you should have a political base. I'm not saying political politics is lost forever. You should be locally, uh, politically uh, active. And of course, the Democratic Party and the Democratic Party are fighting it back against this. The Democratic Party just don't like progressives at all. You know, they want to do the corporate thing. Everybody do the corporate thing. Okay. I'm rushing through this only because I want to get to this particular point. So the internet uh, and all this discussion about Black Panther, thank goodness for it, is uh, it's wonderful. I mean, if I was back in, in, in the 50s, like, like say, uh, uh, Richard Wright, and I'm stuck in Paris, I don't really know. I have to wait, you know, a, a couple of days for the you know, International Herald Tribune to, to come to, you know, to get the news or, or whatever it is. It's difficult to communicate. But now I, you can see what's going on. Uh, but uh, I'm particularly grateful for, for one of the things, the most entertaining thing, like I have some entertaining uh, sites that, that, I, that I found on the thing. Uh, like like Andre the Black Nerd, I just do something. He's funny. I like this guy. You know, uh, uh, Double Toasted. Uh, they're on there. They're uh, uh, they they're out of Austin, Texas, I believe. I think Andre the Black Nerd. I think he's out of uh, of L.A., uh, Los Angeles, California. Anyway, the Double Toasted people. They're hilarious. You know what I mean? It's usually you know. Uh, uh, the, the Corey, the, the, the leader of, the, of this pack, then there's uh, this white guy, and there's an older black guy, and a, a younger, a younger black guy. Anyway, so I like them too. But two of the most important um, uh, sites that I found through this experience, this experience of, of trolling Black Panther people, was a uh, uh, Red Spirit Mass. I really like this guy. He's an art. He's in, he's in the art of, of African mass and African art. Now, part of my background also is that for eight years. I, I was exclusively a model for the School of Visual Arts in New York. So I have a, a for, art, for art back here model, a nude model, you know, artist model. And uh, I was really good. I mean, really good. And some people say I put a whole generation of artists through, but we won't get into that. Anyway, so because of that, I mean, I also used to go to a lot of museums anyway, but sometimes I would go to the classes, you know, the class would go to a museum and I go with them. It's like art. I like, I appreciate art. Um, so I really appreciate his insight. He's really, really good. Um, if you're counting all of that stuff, he's a white guy, but he's a scholar. To me, he's a scholar. And so I really, I just really like this guy. Then the other one, this thing called uh, uh, Home Team History, from this young, uh, uh, young, uh, young black guy doing a real African history. So I was, this, I was uh, listening, and I, and I like him, I just discovered him, so I, I go through him. And I do have a history. Uh, with, with all this stuff because all through the 80s I, I was at the First World Alliance, you know, these are the people like Dr. Ben, you know, uh, uh, John Henry Clark, of course, you know, I got sort of, uh, uh, Francis Crest Wilson, you know, uh, uh, Dr. Rosalind Jeffries, Leonard Jeffries, a bunch of people, you know, I was there. But my favorite person of all that, plus he was a historian, he was, he was the African historian for my radio program called No More Radio, uh, all through the 80s into the 90s, uh, was James Small. And I really, James is like amazing. And so when I was listening to this, uh, to, to uh, home team history, the guy was saying about, you know, this whole thing about Africa selling Africans. It's like, it's just not, not true. At least not that the way people think about it. Now I remember, like I said, I do a lot of interviews. Uh, I had interviewed uh, James in, uh, I think, 2015, like September 2015. I think he says, uh, talking speci uh, specifically about that uh, that phenomena of African selling African, and James brings it down so good. So when I 
listen to this guy's thing. Uh, I sent him a link to that interview, and you all, I'm gonna put that interview, you, it's very important. Let me put it, whether you're black, whatever, but mainly if you're black, you know what I mean? You know, it's sending a child of slavery. You really need, I'm not saying because I did the interview, you know what I mean? It's just, you really need to check out James. Told him this specific interview, he breaks everything down, the whole thing you, is un unbelievable. Um, it's just really a good interview, so I, I really encourage you, you know, just to, to check that out. Okay, uh, so so I bring up all this and whatever have you because that's that's what this little posting is about. Uh, so so uh, uh, so hopefully I'll get back to my regular things. I won't be talking a lot about uh, my my Wakanda series. So talking about this at least until the DVD or the Blu-ray, whatever it is, comes out because there's a lot of extras in there. Uh, and, and I just I, 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 I I'm thankful that I'm. Still alive uh, in this day and age to witness this phenomenon. It's like a, it's, it's really it's a good thing, whether you agree with stuff or not. It's a really a good thing. A lot of, uh, of folks are, are getting this. Let me put it this way: I come from this thing as a film person, not as a, anything else. And what people don't realize, Black Panther is a as a film. It's an amazing film. Forget this comic book heroes or whatever they're doing this or, or the Marvel Universe. No, as a film, it is amazing as a film. It is an amazing film. And I've seen a lot of films. You know, when I was talking to Jim uh, and, 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 and Terrence, uh, we, 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 we talked about uh, uh, several classic films or whatever have you. But please, don't just look at this as some sort of comic book thing, whatever have you. This is an important film. This is a groundbreaking thing. This is historic. So if you, if you just keep that in mind, and uh, I won't burden you anymore. This, this is just a message for me, T, for the Patterson's taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.